Come here, one here to uh, Diamond Creek here at the Community Bank Stadium here, of course, because uh, last night uh, they uh, were out here um, in a big win, of uh, course, in their big match in the BNL for the DC North East Blaze. Of course, we've got uh, two of our sponsored players as well joining us right now. Of course, we've got Abby and Ella here joining us right now from the DC North East Blaze. Thanks uh, <laughs> both of you for joining us. Thanks for having us. No worries. Well, we'll get to both of you to um, tell us where did it all started and why both of you get uh, choose the sport of netball. Um, I'll go first. Um, I've started playing netball when I was six. I didn't really have a choice. My family is three girls, so my dad was coaching, was into soccer at the time, so he had to switch to netball. I was basically born on the netball court, so I was just, yeah, I played my first game when I was six and I just loved it from then. I played a bit of basketball as well, I did some dancing, gymnastics, but there comes to a point where you have to choose one sport because your parents can't run you around the whole time. Um, so yeah, I picked netball um, probably when I was about under 13s or 15s, I cut out basketball and really concentrated on netball. So yeah, loved it ever since. Um, well, I first started with basketball. That's the first ball I picked up. Um, and that was about when I was six. And then my older sister just fell in love with netball and so mum just thought it was easier for me to play netball. <laughs> and so I started playing netball and I just, I loved it, you know, just competitive and stuff. So I'm still continuing netball and basketball. They complement each other really well. And yeah, I just, I just love playing it. Now, um, what position do both of you play on the court? And you had the preferred position where you love to convince your Blaze coaches to put you, where would that be? Um, well, I'm a wing attack centre. I love wing attack. But I reckon defence would be really good because you don't really have to be that great at attack and you come through with the flying intercepts and you get the credit for winning the game. So I reckon goal defence would be awesome. Um, I play goal attack. I reckon running the centre would just be fun, running everywhere, you know. You can, that's the hell. Um, you can, <laughs> yeah, it's offence No pressure. Anti. No yeah. pressure to shoot. No, no pressure to shoot, yes. Not on the, the best thing. Not on the dying seconds to win the match, but yes. <laughs> Now, um, of course, uh, you mentioned right at the start, um, obviously both of you used, I guess, used to play basketball, or still play basketball. Um, <laughs> I guess, was it an easy transition to go from basketball to netball? Um, yeah, I reckon. When I was younger, I probably loved basketball more. I used to leave my under nines game to get to my basketball. I just loved it so much. But I don't really know, uh, yeah, the pathway just seemed a little bit better for me in netball, but I think they, like Abby said, they really complement each other really well. Like there's lots of skills in basketball that you can bring to netball and vice versa. So I found it really great that my parents put me in both sports when I was younger because they both gave something back to each other. Yeah, and with basketball, you know, you learn being aggressive, then you just put it into netball court, in netball court you learn poise, you just bring it to the basketball court. Yeah, um, I probably was a bit over competitive basketball, so netball just kind of settled me down, you know, <laughs> not as physical. But yeah, no, uh, I love them both. I can't even pick between them. Yeah. Now, for both of you, what is so special about playing for the DC Northeast Blaze? Um, I've got a really strong con um, connection to a lot of the players here, but also the coach, Kate Upton. Um, we both came from the same sort of junior club and came up the ranks together, but a lot of the players I played with. When I was younger, we played rep with, like Ray Cheeky that plays with one. And um, so, yeah, I just love being here because it's just like being ho at home. And I've just got lots of friends from different parts of my life that have all sort of come and we're playing at Blaze together now. So that's just what I love mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, and mine's similar. I had Callie, who's coached me since I was six, and she's just through domestic, through rep. And now to be now, she's just been my guide. And, you know, I follow her where she goes. And then, but I got my awesome Daniel plays with me in the under 19s. and. Just the community here is just really supportive. Now, um, obviously, uh, you know you're playing for Blaze in the BNL, and of course, it's normally played on Wednesday nights. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, do you play netball on weekends? And if so, which teams? Um, yeah, I used to play netball on the weekends. I played in the Footy Netball League in the Yarra Valley. I played for Wondon for a few years, and before that, I was at Mount Evelyn. That's where I first played in the Valley, and I loved that. I loved my weekend netball when I was a bit younger. But now that I'm getting a bit older, I find it a little bit taxing on the body outside, <laughs> so yeah. I've just decided to give the weekend outside netball away and maybe just play indoors and being a bit precious, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, I used to play um, rep for Banyul, but I was inside yeah. uh, on a Tuesday night, but um, I've kind of stopped my workload now and just more focusing on v &L and um, yeah, just not to get my body tired. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, um, what would be some career highlights for both your netball careers so far up to this point? Um, well, at the moment, I'm a training partner at the Collingwood Magpies, which is awesome. I've loved that. A lot of my idols growing up, um, they're only sort of a few years older than me, but I just love having the chance to be able to train with them now and just be around them all of the time. So that's definitely a career highlight. And the other one would just be probably um, being a part of the Fury for a few years and getting a couple of premierships there. So that was really good. Also, um, in the Footy Netball League, Yarra Valley, Wandon, when Ty, I, uh, me and Sam coached last year, uh, we won five yes, premierships. Yes, that's right. <laughs> in one day, it was so good. That's right, that's, that's right, yeah. So. Yeah, so that was a career highlight. Um, probably making the state team last year. I had really fun at nationals and you know just being able to represent Victoria was just awesome and probably winning um, association championships with Daniel um, for three years straight with Kelly and you know Sully from the 19s and Chloe Lambert. It was just really good you know just all three years just undefeated yeah just a highlight playing with those girls. Now, Ella, you did mention about Wanden. Uh, of course, uh, they are the current defending champions yeah. in all five teams yeah. uh, in the top division in AFL <laughs> Young Rangers. Um, tell us a bit about the day. Um, yeah, it was awesome. So Sam and Ty, that also play at Blayers, and myself coached all five teams. We were the head coach of one each, but generally we all made the decisions. We all shared the load, and so it was a pretty long day. I think. The 19s, what do they start? 17 start at nine o'clock or yeah. something. So it was sitting on the bench from the 19, from the 17s at nine o'clock in the morning, and we were get excited after every game. But then the pressure just kept on building, and at the end of those four games, we had to play in the fifth. So that's what we were really stressed about. <laughs> um, so we, we, they were one, and we were like, yes, but oh no, now the pressure's building, and we have to win it. So yeah, but at the end of it, when we finally won our A grade one that we've been trying to get for a few years now the whole squad ran onto the court and it was just like the most surreal experience ever and it was just amazing. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to take you back to that last game. Um, yeah. Now I think you played Alinda Fernie Creek, yep. uh, which uh, I think they were probably your biggest rivals that, yep. um, that year, which they still are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess, how was the nurse like? Um, I guess as the game got on, you mentioned about the day because obviously you won one and then you won two and then won yeah. three and then you got Dilla and then won four by the time we got to your game. Yeah. Was the pressure thing, was the pressure like, we don't want to be the team to lose uh, in a, in, um, in, on, a, on a really big day? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our A grade, we were a great team, but we hadn't been consistent all year and we hadn't had a consistent starting seven or a consistent team for the whole year. We were all out playing VNL and then back again and I was out for a while and I didn't really play much of the final series. So, But that pressure that built the whole day, I mean, Sam, Ty and I were just so nervous going into the game, but we just had to compose ourselves and just sort of chip away at it and it just happened that we won on that day. I mean, Alinda, we're an awesome team, but we just got over the line. We were pretty lucky. Absolutely. Now, uh, now I know Abby. I know you do play another sport. <laughs> um, I actually saw you last weekend, actually, yes. <laughs> um, at Bulleen. Um, yeah. Because playing the sport of basketball, that is. Um, now, how do you juggle VNL and uh, Big V? And of course, I believe you still play VJBO too. Yeah. Um, I just. It... How do your parents juggle it? Yeah, I was oh, going to say. Let's, yeah, that's question. probably a good question. Um, you know, I just take day by day and how my body feels, but I always, my recovery is the most important part of my day. Um, if I just, you know, juggle having something on one day, I just need to know that I have to listen to my body, what it's saying, and then um, just adapt to it. If I can't train 100% or, you know, um, a big game's coming up, I'll just prepare myself. But um, juggling both sports, it's, it gets a bit frustrating at times but you know just look at the light at the end of the tunnel it's just bigger what's important picture. yeah the bigger yeah. picture yeah yeah now um i guess what's both your future ambitions in the sport of netball um i obviously want to get a contract at, at an ssn club um being a training partner at the magpies is an awesome opportunity and i've loved it so much but there's only so long that you can be a training partner and i really want to crack into that i feel like I can, I just need an opportunity to sort of grab it with both hands and run with it, so. Um, I think the next step for me is just, you know, 
to have a really good season this year and hopefully just um, try and get into maybe Div 1 or a champ spot so I can just be a bit more um, looked at. But no, I just need to really work hard this year and just see how it goes. And for both of you, what, is so, uh, what does the sport of netball, netball mean to both of you? Um, my netball is really, uh, really big in my family, so like my, you know, my direct family just love it so much and they rarely miss a game. My parents still come to every single game. I'm a 26 year old woman, I'm married and my parents still come to every game. Um, my sisters are really involved and they love it a lot and my niece has now grown up and she's really loving where I am and yeah. so yeah I think having my family and having them so involved is really good but also the friends that you make within netball and the connections like I'm I've got three really good friends from high school but then most of my best friends come from netball so definitely be friendships and family and obviously I my family as well, I've got three sisters that all play netball and basketball, but you know, my mum was a netball coach and she just, I just feed off of her, but I also just love the game, the competitiveness and just how you have to use your brain, your problem solving, yeah, it always just keeps me going and keeps me fit as well. And what would be your advice to our listeners uh, or viewers uh, that are watching this should, should get involved in the sport of netball? Um, I reckon just give it a crack, it's really good for friendships like I said, but like Abby said, it's really competitive and it's getting a little bit rougher every year but we love yeah. it and I just reckon just have a go because it can open up many doors and many opportunities. And if you like really want to take it seriously just work hard you know when other people are having a break you know you just work hard and you can get higher and higher especially pre-season so if you just work hard I think you know you will achieve what you want. Now uh, let's get to know a bit about both of you now. Uh, Favourite uh, song? Justin Bieber Baby. Um, <laughs> uh, Bruno Mars, that's what I like. What song though? That's, that's what I like. Yeah, that's, oh, that's okay. Song. That's the <laughs> song. <laughs> Bruno Mars. <laughs> Favourite movie? The Lion King. Oh, um, wedding date. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Favourite food? I love hot chips. I'm Ooh. really sorry, that's not very athlete of me. No, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I love hot chips. Um, garlic bread. Oh, oh garlic bread. Right. Yep. Yeah. Favorite drink. Oh, lemon lime bitters. Yeah, that's my too. Yeah. I would say I'm not allowed soft drink. Like oh. maybe just water. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like soft drink. drink. I know. Mum just doesn't let me. Good on you, mum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, um, uh, favourite destination? Oh, um, I love Bali. That's pretty nice. Oh, actually, Noosa. Noosa is beautiful. Yeah. Um, Disneyland. I went to Disneyland oh, last year. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. a favourite. Yeah. I haven't been anywhere like that, so mm -hmm. don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, if, uh, I think I might have just answered my own question on this one. If you didn't play the sport of netball, which sport would you be playing right now? I reckon basketball. I, I, I did like it. If I didn't have basketball, I would do gymnastics. Ah. Yeah, I reckon we'd be good at gymnastics. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, of course, we're in an AFL city. Um, favorite AFL team? Collingwood. <laughs> Carlton. <laughs> There you go. Um, next year. <laughs> um, uh, now, uh, I guess, has there been any embarrassing moments on the netball courts? Oh, yes. When I was like, I don't know, eight maybe, I full on came from a basketball game and my head obviously was just in the basketball game. As soon as I got the centre pass, I just started dribbling the ball. <laughs> and I was just like, you know, they called double dribble and I was just so confused. And then <laughs> turns out I was in the netball court. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Yeah. Um, I don't really know. A apart from the normal Falcons that you get, I've had a lot of those and a <laughs> lot of falls, like centre passes. I've just completely fallen over my own feet, but nothing like that, Abby. Sorry about that. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, um, I guess uh, now, favourites. Do you have any superstitions? Oh, uh, it's always left sock. Right sock, left shoe, left sock. Uh, right. You know what I mean. Yeah. Left first, everything. Yeah. I always have a fruit 15 minutes before my game and then up and go 
an hour and ten minutes before my game. Just has to every game, every basketball and netball. Basketball and netball. Just I have to. It's good luck. What fruit doesn't matter? It has to be either apple or banana. Oh. Yeah. There you go. It's an interesting one. I was going to say, that's an interesting one. <laughs> it's well. very precise. Aaron Tan, 50. 50 Aaron <laughs> yeah. Now, I know we don't look too far ahead now, but if the Blaze goes all the way and wins the BNL Championship in, obviously in both of the cases, obviously uh, 19s and, of course, champ, uh, I guess how big would that be for this club? I think it would be massive. I know that it was big that the under 19s came so close last year and yeah, I right, really am lucky to miss out on that one and we've got such great talent there so that'd be really good for the club a building phase but also if the championship were to be t able to get there it just shows that the work that Kate and Kelly and all the rest of the coaches that have put in the last few years have been worth it and I think it's obviously a really big drawing card too when a club wins a premiership it draws a lot of new talent and stuff like that so yeah it'd be huge and just a really good reward yeah. for everyone's hard work. Especially we haven't won one yet with quite a new club so yeah. it would just be really big for us. Like I thought being the grand final was good but yeah. winning one would just be yeah. out of sort of yeah. next level. Yeah. yeah. Now um, let's finish off with uh, some light-hearted questions about your teammates which is obviously they're upstairs at the moment. Yeah. Um, firstly any funny moments this year? I haven't been around much. Lee's, Lee's always cracked up. Yeah, she Lee's does. just generally pretty funny. Sarah Hogan's funny. Um, just, oh, yeah, once. Um, we're doing a drill. And then... <laughs> just here. Just, just here. Just here. <laughs> and someone, I think someone fell over. And then it was just like John goes, like three people fell over after <laughs> that. And just Everyone just laughed our heads off. It was, it was just like a domino effect. You just yeah. fall, thump, thump, thump. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty funny, yeah. <laughs> Comedian and clumsy. Oh, clumsy would be Taisa Coppinger. Yes, really clumsy. But also Michaela Wilson that plays for the Magpies. She's really clumsy as well, so when she's back, she's a good laugh. Yeah. Um, Comedian, Lee Riley, Sarah Hogan, yeah. they're pretty funny. Zully. Yeah, Zully's Zully a good one. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Describe your teams in a couple words. Um, versatile. Um, they're hard working. Like we just work hard every training. Yep. Determined, dogged. I think we're really united this year. I know yeah. it's a word that like gets thrown a lot around from clubs, but it's hard to find a different word to explain what we are. But I think as one club, like yeah. we're really united and. That's really what we've been working towards the last few years. So whether it's you moving across 19's Div 1 Championship, everyone just feels welcome and it's all the same game plan and everyone just gets along and I think each team within themselves is really united as well. So I think that that's going to be what takes us to that next level this year. And uh, two final ones, firstly, uh, for our viewers that should follow the mighty uh, DC North East Blaze, uh, how can I go about keeping track of how I use the travelling? Um, Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Facebook and Instagram. So North yeah. East Blaze, I think you just yeah. searched yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got our games on Wednesday night. So we got our home games. We got a few more home games during the season. Just come down to that. We played. We played one last night. Got three out of three. Always mm -hmm. a good. Always a good turnout. So yeah. And one final one. Now I really don't want to hype myself up here, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> uh, really, I do this, but I'm going to. Um, yeah. How's, how special for both of you to be sponsored by us and also now officially become our Smash Pen ambassadors? Ah, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's such an honour to be sponsored by a radio station. I mean, you go out to a lot of sports, a lot yeah. of women's sport in particular, so to be individually identified as someone that you'd like to sponsor, I think that's awesome, but really good for Blaze as well. It gets us to get our name out there a little bit and yeah, we really appreciate it. Great opportunity, not much people get it, and I think, like, I'll, I'll so, I'm so excited, I'm stoked, and I think, yeah, what Alice said will just be really good for Blaze. Well, both you, thank you so much for joining us. I know that you're in the middle of training at the moment, even though you know there's really no one in the court at the moment. <laughs> but but uh, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck for the rest of this year, in particular for the Blaze. I can't wait to see how you travel, and uh, I have to come out, out here to Diamond Creek uh, for <laughs> for game day. Um, uh, game. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. For, thank thanks you. for having us. Yeah. No worries. And uh, we'll be back, uh, of course, for hopefully more uh, ambassador profiles right after this. Don't go away.